in civil case number CL 2019 2911. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Has Mr. Depp proven by a greater weight of the evidence that question, the statement was made or published by Ms. Hurd? Answer, yes. Gentlemen, you will always remember this as the day that you almost caught Captain Jack. More than six weeks of covering this trial. We thank you so much. Uh, maybe we'll check in with you later. But for now, I want to go right to Linda in the studio. She has a statement from Johnny Depp, his reaction to the verdict. Linda. And we were honored, truly honored, to assist Mr. Depp in ensuring that his case was fairly considered throughout the trial. We are also most pleased that the trial has resonated for so many people in the public who value truth and justice. It's been a very long road to get where we are right now because it seems like something years in the making because it very much has been. Johnny Depp has been fighting for his innocence for a long time now and it seemed that every single hurdle something happened that would cause him to fail or be set back. And when the jury went into deliberation for the defamation case that's been going on for the past month, no one could tell who was going to win and that made people nervous. But now we know, Johnny Depp won, and he won big. We'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching. And good luck. Number five, the setup. A key thing to remember here is that no one was really sure when the jury would be coming forward to deliver the verdict. After all, they started deliberations late on Friday, then it continued after the holiday weekend by going the full day on Tuesday. Then by the midpoint of Wednesday, they said they had reached a verdict, all in all deliberating for about 13 hours. This news got a lot of people's attention, as you might have guessed. But there was a twist in this, because despite being there for every day in court and being the one who started this case in the first place, Johnny Depp was not going to be there. Why? Because he was in the UK and thus would have to monitor things from afar. The actor gave a surprise musical performance at a concert Sunday night at the Sheffield City Hall, about 40 miles southeast of Manchester, for guitarist Jeff Beck's European tour. As you can imagine, this upset some people, not the least of which was the diehard Johnny Depp fans who had been supporting him both outside and inside the courtroom throughout this case. Oh, and there was Amber Heard's camp, who also wasn't happy about things. Your presence shows where your priorities are, according to a statement from Heard's camp. Johnny Depp plays guitar in the UK while Amber Heard waits for a verdict in Virginia. Depp is taking his snickering and lack of seriousness on tour. That lack of seriousness was a reference to how throughout much of the trial, Johnny Depp decided to draw and doodle on various pieces of paper, especially when Amber Heard was on the stand, as he refused to look at her due to a promise he made to her previously. Amber Heard was at the courthouse when the verdict was ready to be handed down, and people were very much curious with how things would go, and the result was both what people hoped for, and not exactly what people expected. Number 4. The Verdicts Yes, Verdicts because if you forgot, there were actually two different suits going on here. The defamation suit via Johnny Depp and the countersuit done by Amber Heard. Depp's was for $50 million and Heard's was for $100 million. The jury had to settle on amounts to give to both of them, and that's exactly what they did, but with one side getting more than the other. A Northern Virginia jury sided with Johnny Depp overall, finding that former wife Amber Heard defamed him with allegations that he had committed DV. The jury has awarded Depp $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages, but that was just for his suit. What about Heard's suit? The seven-person jury also awarded $2 million in compensatory damages damages to herd, but zero dollars in punitive damages. So if you do the math there, that means Johnny Depp got seven times more than Amber Heard did. And what's more, the jury agreed after all of this that Depp was indeed defamed by Amber Heard via her Washington Post op-ed. But what about what Johnny Depp did, you might ask? Well, that's the even more ironic part. The two million dollars weren't for a statement that Johnny Depp said, but that his former lawyer said, key word here being former, as he wasn't a part of the team that tried this defamation case. So while Heard did get a victory in her own way, it pales in comparison to the one that Johnny Depp did. Remember, she and her lawyer team spent a lot of time 
in this trial trying to prove that Johnny Depp did a be her in various ways of fashion, and that if even one of these was true, then Amber Heard would win the court defamation case, the $50 million one. And yet not only did they say basically that they didn't believe her, they awarded Depp a lot of money to show that they were on his side. Sure, it wasn't the $50 million he was asking for, but $15 million is hardly chump change. And while $2 million isn't bad either, the message was clear. The only thing Johnny Depp did wrong in the jury's eyes was have a lawyer who made a bad statement about Heard, and that's not entirely on Depp as many would say. Number 3. Social Media Reacts As anyone who's been following this case will tell you, the social media presence of the fans of both sides have been looming and loud throughout all of this, and that was just as true when the verdict came down. Overcome with emotions at the moment, he did it. So proud of him. It's been an honor to fight for truth and justice for the past six years. Finally, he has received justice, one person wrote on Twitter. On Reddit, some celebrated saying justice is alive and well. On TikTok, the celebration continued, with one user posting a video of herself crying with happiness with the text, he actually won. The comment section also celebrated the victory with some writing. I'm so proud and justice was served. Within 15 minutes, the video had amassed nearly 25,000 views, showing just how invested social media was with Johnny Depp. As Amber Heard's team noted during their time in court, social media has been almost unilaterally against Amber Heard. Heard said the vitriol from them was massive, and that led to all sorts of alleged threats against her and her newborn child. And to her credit, not everyone was happy that Depp won the case. This case set a horrible precedent for the way victims of AB will be treated by the court of public opinion in the future. One person wrote, That's a bold statement and neither accurate nor inaccurate depending on how you look at things. Yes, many were against Amber Heard winning in any way, but as in many cases what happens and who is judged is often about the person and whether they're telling the truth in the eyes of the public. Say what you will about Johnny Depp fans, but they've listed various reasons why they never believed Amber Heard, and now they can cite a seven-person jury for proof of why they were right. Number two, Depp reacts. As one would expect, once Johnny Depp heard the verdict, he made a statement. We won't show you it all here, but here's the crux of it. Six years ago, my life, the life of my children, the lives of those closest to me, and also the lives of the people who for many, many years have supported and believed in me were forever changed, all in the blink of an eye. And six years later, the jury gave me my life back. I am truly humbled. He promised that the next phase of his life would be the best yet, and thanked everyone who supported him throughout this case and all that came before it. So that begs the final question at this stage in time. Number one, what happens now? Well, if we're lucky, this is where things end for the Depp Heard saga, because it's gone through multiple courtrooms and even countries to try and find the truth of the matter. And now a jury has ruled that Amber Heard defamed Johnny Depp and lied about her AB, and that Depp didn't do anything wrong overall. This could potentially change the way people look at both. This could potentially change the way that people look at both Johnny Depp and Amber Heard in very profound ways, to the extent that the ban on Johnny Depp, in terms of his being in Hollywood, might just be lifted, because it was these allegations that were holding him back from doing more acting in the US and other parts of the world. But now that he has been declared innocent, he has the freedom to do what he wants, more or less. So it'll be interesting to see what he chooses to do. And there you have it everyone, a look at what went down with the jury and the verdict that has finally come down with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard defamation case. Do you believe that this was a fair verdict? Do you think that this will finally put an end to things between Heard and Depp? What do you think happens now? Let us know in the comments down below, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.